Hey, it's Jim. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I have something a little bit different today. It's another tip for RetroArch itself. Uh, I've had a lot of people go, how do I swap discs for two disc games in RetroArch? I'm going to show you the best way to go about that, the best way to set it up, and to uh, to actually use it. So, for instance, I've booted up Metal Gear Solid, my own copy that I ripped. Uh, I've booted up Metal Gear Solid, and if I go to that, it's going to go, oh no, I've put disc two in. I'm an idiot. Or you've gotten to disc two swap in the in the middle of the game and you don't know what to do. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and it's really simple. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is open up where you've ripped your game to. You can see I've got Metal Gear Solid Disc 1 and Disc 2 dot image files there. What you want to do, and this is the easiest way to go about it, there is two ways to go about it. One is making a combined image with both games in it as a PBP file, which can be used also on a PSP and Vita. And But if you're just playing on PC on RetroArch or if you're playing on Xbox on RetroArch from a hard drive or whatever, this is the best way to do it. So first what you want to do is make a new text document. You can call it whatever the hell you like. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call it Metal Gear Solid. you got to call it uh, .m3u. M3U. What you're doing is making a, a, a disk playlist. Um, that's what an M3U file is. So you make that. It's going to say yes. You want to change it. That's fine. You want to right click that and you want to open it with a uh, text document, uh, text editor. So I've opened it with uh, a text editor. I use uh, Notepad++ because it's really cool uh, for coding and all sorts of stuff. All you want to do here is you want to get the names of the two image files that you're using. So whether that be .img, if you're using plain image files, or if you're using a .bin and .cue format, um, you want to put the .cue format one in there. So I'll explain that now. So basically, uh, you go, easiest way to do it, it's rename, select all, copy the name, and you can post it in there. If both your disks are named the same thing, but there's disk one and disk two, that's very simple. You just copy it twice on two lines and name it disk two like that. Save it. And now all you want to do is you want to load this file in RetroArch. Now I don't have a save file for Metal Gear Solid currently. That's at disk two. So I'm going to load disk two first and switch it over to disk one when it asks me to. Normally you would put the disks in order, but this is just to demonstrate that swapping the disks works. And now all we have to do is open our RetroArch, whether that be on PC or on Xbox, it works the same exact way. Uh, load content, and you want to go to where your game is, and you want to load the M3U file, uh, and you go to your core. Let's just skip it. Press start, and we'll go to... It should tell me that it's the wrong disc now, because I put disc 2 as the first one, disc 1 as the second one. But this is just to show you how swapping works inside RetroArch. So there we go. Inside disc 1. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So you, what you do is you find your menu. So on the console, we set that to, in my tutorial, we set that to hold select or the, um, the menu button on the Xbox controller for two seconds. Uh, this menu would come up. You go to disc control. You eject disc and you go current disk index. Because we're using the M3U file, it should have all the disks. So if it was Final Fantasy, there'd be four disks in there, and you can go in there and set it to the right one. So we want to switch it to disk one, switch it to disk one. Now we insert the disk. So this is simulating uh, ejecting the disk from the actual console, switching the disk, and then putting the disk back in. So if you go insert disk, it should now put that disk in, virtual disk tray is closed. It says press start button after inserting disk one. So let's do that. It's now checking the disk. And there we go. It should load into the beginning of Metal Gear Solid because I have no save game for this at the moment on the PC version. Anyway, there we go. Now the game is loaded. So whilst that's playing in the background, I will explain to you that that works for every game on PlayStation 1. It also works for games on Sega Saturn. It works for games on Mega CD. Anything with a CD, basically, or a DVD disc or whatever. Um, so... If you've got PlayStation 2 games, they also work. But I will tell you that PlayStation 2 uh, is very, very touchy with multiple discs. Um, most of the games I tried don't work. However, the Xenosaga games do swap discs perfectly fine. 
So, yeah, short one today, but I hope this has been very informative, and um, I will see you on the next one, hopefully very soon. And uh, give me a like, subscribe, join my Discord for more stuff, and you can also catch me on Twitter. Uh, you can check all that on my YouTube profile, so I'll see you on the next one.